Welcome back to the Beast Inside. Last episode, we went back in time to when this journal that we just found in the attic was written. Now, next thing we need to do is, I think, show the journal to Emma, because they might find it interesting. Yes, I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. Why are we here? We were in the attic when we opened it. Emma's not in the bathroom anymore. You're not up here, are you? Oh, <laughs> whoops. <clears throat> oh, Emma must have closed all the doors on the car. Dang it. Oh, hey. Honey, you won't believe what I found it. Hey, Emma? Can you hear me? Emma? Oh, I'm worried about this. I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Diary. What? A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement, and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? It's good that they're married and having a kid. What a great relationship that is surely going to last a very long time. Go into the basement. Problem. She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. Yay, the basement. We have no power. Also, we have no lantern. Or matches. I need a flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe I can find one in the attic. There's a lot of junk in there. Damn, this thing looks so old. But maybe this isn't an old style for the 1980s. <clears throat> it's not new, but it should do. It's got a very powerful bulb. How do I use it? X? F? Does it turn on automatically? I guess so. Oh boy. <gasps> God's sake. <laughs> huh. I remember noticing that thing when we were in the past going around the basement. This horse will haunt me in my dreams. <laughs> what is it made out of? I love that I can pick every single one of these things up. Why do we have so many axes? Or I guess I should ask, why did they have so many axes? It's an antique, but in mint condition. That's what I like. Doesn't look like it's been affected by the ravages of time, so maybe I can use it to break a few Russian ciphers. I 
I bet its chiming has startled many people. I bet it's going to startle us. What time did it stop at? About 10.27? No, no, that's not 10.27. It's like 10.20 or 10.18. Where are the fuses? <laughs> this has been bricked over. Strange, one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? Shed key. Maybe there's a spare fuse in the shed by the house. Key to the shed by the house. Looks very fragile. Doesn't it? Looks pretty sturdy to me. Oh, look at that. The little name tag jiggles around when you move the object. I freaking love that. <laughs> Something's going to happen on my way out. Run, run, run. Oh my god. Nothing happened. I can't believe that. So in the memory, this here was uh, a building. Yeah, there was a big building here. Some sort of like garage or stable or something. Now it's a gazebo. Is here, of course. What the? F what is this? Where did all the blood come from? You just noticing blood now? A shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? Fizz. Same name, same classic taste. Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? Quantum localizer? Oh no, the object's... The object's hitting this table that's right in front of me. Ah, oh, crap. I can't make much sense of it, but I trust that the author knew what he was writing about. Hold on. Let's read that. Oh, let's move in and read it. Quantum localizer, that's the thing that we're about to pick up in the box. Is this like a ghost hunting device? Quantum localizer, sensors, electromagnetic, quantum, quantum sensors, cool. <laughs> modules, enhanced VLF display, lasers, two Ferga and lithium laser modules. I have no idea what that means. 
420 grams, nice weight, nice. Allows an in-depth analysis of kinetic energy preserved in so-called quantum traces, enabling the user to identify silhouettes of people or other living organisms whose past presence in a given fragment of the space-time continuum has left behind detectable clusters of waves and particles, i.e. quantum clouds. What? Equipped with two ultra-sensitive sensors, the device can detect both electromagnetic and quantum traces. Whoops. Sensors pointing to these here. Thanks to a special built-in coil and this ultra-sensitive sensor, the localizer can detect metal objects up to a dozen meters away with a precision of 0 0.01 centimeters. VLF display right here. The screen enabling the user to locate large clusters of quantum clouds. Quantum sensor here? <clears throat> An advanced, very sensitive particle sensor. Based on innovative technology, it can detect quantum traces left by living organisms. Quantum scanner enables the user to stabilize quantum clouds and reveal any anomalies that may cause interference. <laughs> impulse generator releases a strong impulse, which is then picked up by the sensors, allows the user to locate metals and anomalies. I need to search the shed thoroughly. Localizer can detect and analyze so-called quantum traces, which enable us to see short flashbacks of people from the past, including their precise location and activities. I've never had a chance to use it in the field, but we were ordered to carry one just in case. I'd much rather get a gun than another oddity from the eggheads in the CIA. What kind of piece of weird sci-fi technology is this? This really stands out as being incredibly bizarre. God, does it look beautiful, though. That looks so cool. I love all those copper coils there. So we're going to be reconstructing crime scenes and stuff? <laughs> Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. Emma? Honey? Something's not right. Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. Wait, what did they say in training? Well, press X to equip and equip the device. Localizer allows you to detect electromagnetic and quantum traces. Quantum clouds. This icon of the thing informs you that the cloud is near. That's an ominous sentence. The cloud is near. Huh. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who is here in a different time. Find a quantum cloud using the localizer screen indicators. The distance from the cloud is counted in percentages, and the green lines around indicate the direction where the cloud is located. A short sound will inform you when the localizer finds the nearest cloud. This is bizarre. Okay, that display is fucking awesome looking. I love that. I love that this thing is both super absurd advanced science fi fiction technology, but also at the same time, the screen is just like this ancient VHS distorted thing. Like they have the technology for all this quantum detection, but not for a good quality screen. I love it. Uh, the green lines indicate direction. Oh, I see, they kind of fill up all the way around if you're pointing in the right direction. So the right direction was over that way. I should follow the localizer. 
Green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go, and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud. This is the place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud, and I need to scan it. Use the device to scan a cloud, hold left mouse button. The signal must be coming from this place. Now I just have to use the scanner on this cloud. found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. I love this distorted display. It's so cool, even if it is absurd. So I can set out an impulse. What does that do? I still don't know what that does. It probably told me in a tooltip just a second ago, but I wasn't looking. Um. Yeah, it doesn't say what to do next. I think I missed it. Find the quantum cloud. Am I just looking for another one? I just want to do this all over the place. Some clothes are lying all covered in blood, and a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible. Otherwise, I won't see a thing. Ah, I see. Shows up in the display of the cloud. Source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. It must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize it. Due to their nature, clouds can be unstable and their readability may be affected by anomalies. In this case, you'll have to destroy them all. <laughs> Find the anomalies in your surroundings. You can make it easier by using right mouse button. Destroy an anomaly, hit it with an EMP charge fired from your device. Hold left mouse button, then release to fire an EMP charge. The highlighted areas around the localizer screen indicate number of anomalies to be destroyed. There's the anomaly. Now I have to charge the localizer and hit it with a beam. That should do it. I to stabilize the cloud. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I did it. Clearly someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll try to find more traces. Ah, this rope. With this I can reach much further than my hands can. Very useful in the field. Hmm. Am I going to be using this on the... Uh, the well? Localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. Is that blood? Yeah, that's blood. Mixed in with some leaves that are also kind of reddish, but that is definitely blood. It must have went up from here. Hold left mouse button and release it to throw an object. Oh, I have to actually catch this thing? Hell yeah. And then 
have to actually pull it? That is so cool. So much blood and it's not even dry yet. Whatever happened here, it hasn't been long. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. Clearly drag something heavy through that gate. Damn, gate is closed. I need to look for a way around. Some planks are loose. I'll try to break them out. Oh, that's satisfying. The blood hasn't dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. I want to go back to uh, the gate. Ooh. Someone's been like hanging out here? Camping maybe? There it is. Just had to see it. No secrets. Just closed. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that... <laughs> Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. I'd better check what the localizers detected before I go in. Untie this? No.
just poking around every little corner, even though I'm pretty confident there's nothing there. Am I supposed to have found anomalies by now? I'm getting pretty far away from the actual place of the thing. Ah. Gotta move the box so we can get on top of it. from this side, but no. the source of it. Uh, it doesn't really have like a clearly defined center. Oh, that's not the... That's not the anomaly. Anomaly detected. Not that the thing I just scanned is an anomaly, but... That is the anomaly. It moves. Oh, there's more. There's another one. Ah, the things around the screen indicate where the anomalies are. Not just how many there are, but where they are. have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it, just in case. Definitely was used on animals, not people. I'm to go back to the barn. Maybe I can find a side entrance. Oh, that's so cool! Yes! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I need to try to get inside. Hmm. 
As silly as it is, I love all these physics puzzles and stuff. Just a deer. That's good. God, who could have done this? This wasn't just some poacher, more like a fucking sadistic hunter. Wait, that beeping. It's as if it's coming from the inside. The animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. It's coming from inside the carcass? something to step on. Do we have a box in here? Is there anything in here I can drag over? Use that crate to reach the ladder and climb up. <laughs> There's bloody boot prints and handprints on this thing. What's all this equipment? And why was it in... Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there's the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. In our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got a goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. 
yeah, I don't know exactly what the hell's going on. It certainly feels threatening. It's just a very weird way to threaten someone. Someone pulled it out on purpose, but why? And what is that contraption that was connected to it? Yeah. What the heck is that thing? Is that like a bug? A plant? A mic? That wasn't open before. I remember back in the day, some twisted kids in the area played with the occult. I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. Clearly, the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. <laughs> I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. Really big fall. Did I go down this way? No. Where could it lead to? What other secrets does this place hide? Hmm. Okay, now we've been back. Now we're back to where we were before. I feel like we should... What the fuck? Is that how the painting was before? Is that how it's supposed to look? I guess maybe. I've got the fuse. I better go home. Oh, it just freaked me out. It just looks weird. Shouldn't we tell Emma about the whole there might be a murderer hanging around kind of thing? Power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much Poe. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. And it's only the third month. What's it gonna be like by the ninth? <laughs> Women, am I right? Seriously, shut the fuck up, whatever your name is. I don't even remember your name. My god, that is dark. Mm. Gonna turn like this light on. What does that control? That light. That is pure fucking black over there. Nope. Boo! Jesus, <laughs> woman. You want me to have a heart attack? Cool, mm, huh? That hat. Wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. If it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and a stew. Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? 
Where do we start? <sighs> Darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? Uh, you've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition... It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine. Box full of cash. Smiley face. If I can't help you, I'll pester you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? Oh, I love this. No. And did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. Ugh. Gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, cryptanalysis? I mean, before you joined the CIA? Like what? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back. Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone. Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? What are you staring at? Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. Oh my god, I loved that interaction. Painting the wall. I not only got to move the thing freely, but it actually did paint the wall and it's actually stayed like that. That is amazing. Please just let me paint the whole damn house, please. The horror can wait. I just want to paint the house. <laughs> oh god now i regret putting that thing on my head i wonder who that guy was maybe if we hang this in the bedroom you'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything i'd hang you first okay okay sorry buddy you're going to the basement that's the proper place for gentlemen from the previous century We're going back down to the basement. Okay, thank God. We don't have to actually go ourselves. Changed so much now that we've gotten things painted and wallpaper put up and stuff. This phone is so old. Hello? It's David. So, this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. Well, I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now. So I thought, maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I'd better call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams? What happened? I don't know. Stress? He's been paranoid lately, seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck, o on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. 
I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. And there goes my vacation. The cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already. These old Cold War angles. Interesting. For now, though, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to use the machine in the office. Whatever that is. I hope we actually get to do some of the code breaking ourselves. <laughs>